Hello guys, this is DBL Engineering Live Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a conceptual model of the Camp Adventure at Haslev Denmark. So it has a 600 meter treetop walk and 45 meters observation tower. So this tower has been completed and opened in 2019. So this is our expected output for this tutorial. So let's get started. Let's open our Revit, then create new model, browse for the US metric template, open, then OK. So after that, go to North Elevation here, then let's set first our unit here, let's have a meter here. Uh, this is 2 then ok after that change this elevation here 3 meters then copy then make a 45 meter height Okay. okay, go to level 1 here on the floor plan, make a grid lines here. Then under model line, make a model line here. Okay. After that, go to North Elevation, let's adjust our grid here, okay, that's it, so go back to level 1, go to massing inside, in place mass here, I'll call this as mass 1, then create a circle here, it's our diameter, so place in the level 1, so let's make a 24 meters diameter, so the radius is 12, at level 16, same, 12, go to level 8, create 8 meters radius, so go to trade view, so let's select this, Then create a form. So finish. After that, create again a massing site for our ramp here. Go to level one here and create a circle again. So let's have an adjustment here. Let's say the outer cover or the frame, actual frame has a 300 millimeter gap between our arm. So let's say it's a 11.4. Then go to level 16, same 11.4 here. Go to level 8, let's make a 7.4. Okay, then go to 3D view here, select it, then create a form. Okay, finish. Let's hide first our rub here. Then, after that, let's click our mouse here, let's add it first, for our frame, then click our mouse here,
then divide surface so after that use a rhomboid here let's find it okay rhomboid pattern let's change our number here to 12 then apply okay after that create a new family file new family let's choose our metric generic pattern here then open that is it click our grid line here choose a pattern of wrong point here after that let's set our dimensions here to 2000 okay for that let's set our reference here okay this is it to be done then create a model or let's set first our reference here So this is it go to model model circular then let's say our reduce here to be 300 after that let's highlight our mass here then solid form okay that's it then let's load this to our project okay go to 3d view select our mask here then is to family one okay we have now created our frame here so click finish here okay here then on the top let's make a ring on the top as our part as part of our structural Connection. So, go to architecture, component, model in place, create a structural frame, open, structural frame one, then go to sweep, then let's pick our pattern here. So, let's pick this. Okay. Then edit a profile so let's make a a point three radius here so let's pick this bigger set this as a point four reduce then okay that's it I have now a circular frame there to connect these structural frames on the outer part and finish. Next, set this first as a height. Let's hide this. Let's unhide. The other bus here. There. Depth and height. Now 
Next, we're going to hide this outer part now. Hide it. After that, also the rig here. Let's hide this first. Okay. Here it is the mass one. Click the mass one here. Mass floors. From level 1 to level 16. Here. Press and hold shift key. Then click the box. Okay. After that. Let's go to architectural, go to floor, floor by face. Let's select our mask here and create a floor. Okay. Then highlight all the mask here. Then go to filter, check done, then click the mask floor, then delete this. Go to North Elevation, click the level 1 floor here, copy it, paste, assign a level here, choose level 16. So we have now a floor at the level 16. Great. Okay, now let's edit or let's make a ramp here so go the, to the level 16 here then tap view so on this part i'm going to edit the floor here so i'm going to make this ramp, this ramp as a two meter width so Delete this now. Make an arc here. Okay. So, okay, we have now created the first ramp here at the top. Now, let's go to the next here at level 15. So, let's double click it. Go to top view again, then make a 2 meters width of the ramp. Two meters here, then delete this box here, then is a arc. For our um, after that, then okay. So go to 3D elevation here or view. Then let's click this one. Then modify sub element. So let's have an elevation of negative 1.5. Also on this part. So let set this as 1.5. Also here as negative 1.5. Now let's do this again for the other floor here. So let's make that makes this faster. Okay. Let's jump on the ground here. Okay. Okay, we have now done our ramp, so let's uh, let's unhide it. The temporary, so let's reveal our unhide elements here. So let's select this entire module here, or massing like that. Then right click, then unhide it. okay this is our mask now already finished creating our model here so let's hide the mask to work here okay so this is it 
already created the conceptual mass of the cab adventure tower so okay that's it that is for this tutorial and i hope you learned something please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you